The first thing that we're going to do is import the Solera simulator. Simply navigate to Virtual Appliance, Import, and then when the dialog box opens, navigate to the location where you've extracted the OVF. This is the file format. Just make sure that you've downloaded the latest Solera simulator from the virtualgeek.typepad.com site, or if you're an EMC customer, use PowerLink. You'll notice that uh, you'll need to identify the location on uh, uh, the name of the VM, as well as the location of the data store. So here we'll put it on the NFS data store. And then you need to assign the network mappings. You can always change this after the fact. Just leave it at the default for now. It'll give you a summary. And when you hit finish, it starts the import process. Now, one thing to note is that while the OVF is small, uh, roughly around 1.5 gigs, uh, during the uh, process of import, uh, it will be expanded into a, um, a zeroed thick uh, VMDK format, um, which means that it will consume about 40 gigs of storage space. Now, you'll notice I've time warped here a little bit, uh, and uh, the import is almost complete. Once the VM has been imported, it will appear in the machine inventory. So there you can see the Solera 561DM pre-GA uh, VM. And now we can modify settings. Um, what we're going to do, however, is we're going to clone it to a template because it's handy dandy to have a template of the Solera sim that you can later on deploy to multiple times. So we'll start the cloning process. Again, we're going to have to give the template a name as well as an inventory location. Identify the cluster that's going to store the template. And again, a location. Here, let's use the compact format. So again, it'll just consume a lot less uh, space. It's, it's using the thin VMDK format. One thing to note, you can, after having deployed the template, uh, change the virtual disk format using uh, uh, the VMware uh, 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 VMKFS tools um, to uh, change the disk type. After we've cloned it, we've now got a VM template that we can deploy and deploy as many Solaris simulators as we'd like.